morning, Forest. I'm Sarah. And I'm John. And today's date is Tuesday, April 16th. And on today's show, we will have all your Wildcat news and sports. Students, there is now a breakfast kiosk out in the middle of the courtyard in the morning. It has all grab-and-go foods on it like donuts, banana bread, Pop-Tarts, Fruit Loops, cereal, and is free to all students. They can come and get one breakfast just like they would inside the cafeteria. HOSA will be hosting a blood drive this Saturday on the 20th for Forest Gives Back Day. You still need a permission slip unless your parent will be there with you. We have a lot of important reminders for seniors today, so please pay close attention. If you need to get rid of some old books, the book club is having a book drive now through the end of April. They will take all books except Reader's Digest, textbooks, and encyclopedias. We are especially looking for books for teens. Books are donated to various organizations and libraries. While you're turning these books in, be sure to clear your library debts as soon as possible. Let's check out the Book Bowl with Blair. The Book Bowl is once every school year where students read books from the Florida Teen Read Program. This program is a voluntary reading program that encourages students to read and to challenge their critical thinking skills. The Book Bowl was started about 15 years ago and it is where the different high schools in Marion County get together and they battle it out uh, over the Florida Teen Read Books. The way books are chosen each year for Florida Teen Read Books is there's a panel of librarians and all over the state librarians, uh, students um, can nominate books that were published in the last two years. The number of times that Forest High School has won the Book Bowl is twice. Last year we almost won. We were just one point away from being the winner. I read about a half of them so far this year um, and I had to do questions for three of them. My favorite so far is this book right here. This is our story. The reason I liked it is because it sounds like it could have come right out of Ocala. We have a lot of hunting around here and there's a murder mystery that involves a teen hunting party. So you might want to take a, a look at this book here and read it and see if you don't see Ocala in it. The Book Bowl entices students to read. There are 15 books selected for the Book Bowl. They are chosen to spark interest in reading of high school students and offer students of reading the more mature titles or to close the book. Speaking to the library, they would like to send a big thank you to all the students that stopped by and voted for their favorite 2018-2019 teen read book. The Hate You Give, My Sister Rosa, and Invictus Tide for third. Defy the Stars was second, and Daughter of the Pirate King was first. Be sure to check out one of these great books from the library. Oh, for sure. Let's check up on today's sports with Logan. Hey, Wildcats. This is Logan with your Wildcat sports for the day. Last night, the girls' beach volleyball team beat Vanguard and will play in the second round of districts tonight at 6.30. Girls lacrosse also played last night and lost to Beholtz 16-6. Girls Tennis had a great match against Westport last week. Let's check in with Emma to see how the match went. Hey Wildcats, I'm Emma Camp here at Westport High School where the Forest Girls Tennis team will be taking on the Wolf Pack. Here's Hannah Durham with more insight on how the game went. We've been practicing like serves and like volleys and all that kind of stuff. Our goal for the season is just to play our hardest. And play their hardest they did, winning the tennis match 4-3. Forrest, Hannah Durham, Keelan Murray, Jordan Mulhern all took home wins in their singles, while Hannah and Keelan also won their doubles game. I think we did very well. We came back from being down and won. So. I think next time we could talk to each other more and just work with each other better. But, yeah. During practice, we've been doing a lot of serving and just rallying with each other back and forth to better our own hits goal for the rest of the season would be hopefully doing well in districts when we go next week on Monday and Tuesday. Uh, to take our girls to districts next week in Gainesville and for them to play their best so that they leave happy at the end of the season. They, um, they've done very well. This is our most competitive school where we play the most evenly matched players. Well for districts they need to focus and play their own ball, meaning hit the ball they know how to hit, not the one the player gives them. And after we leave districts next week, they need to play all year, not just during tennis season. This has been Emma Camp and Aaliyah Threats report for WCAT. Now back to your anchors. This has been Logan with all of your Wildcat sports. Now back to the anchors. 
Thanks, Logan. For any girls who want to participate in Sideline Cheer next year, there will be an informational meeting tonight at 6 in the cafeteria. Before we go, make sure to follow us at FHS underscore WCAT on Twitter, Instagram, and stay updated with all your Wildcat news. That's all the news we have for you today. Once again, I'm Sarah. And I'm John. Have a great day for us, and like always, go, go Cats! Cats.